Okay. Ah, Greg says I get alerted to email, not Discord. Good to know. I am thinking that what I will do for for the email is Monday to Monday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm gonna post notifications for the Tuesday, Thursday recordings only in Discord. But I'm always gonna send announcements both in email and in announcements. So if I'm like time change or whatever it may be that we're announcing, I'll, I'll always send both. And, and we'll just see, we'll see where that takes us. So, um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, disclaimers. As always, education illustrative purposes only. We are not advisors, we are not brokers. We don't provide guidance. We don't provide recommendations. This is all educational and for collaborative learning. I, and I do like less labor intensive for me, Sandy. I'm not going to lie because it frees me up to do more important things. If I'm going to spend two extra hours, I'd rather spend those two hours answering live questions than like messing around with templated em emails, right? If I feel like there's... It's like, let's just be like, here's today's recording. Boom. Not like I have to go through all the rigmarole of setting up the template and doing this and that. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> Smarter, not harder. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Agreed. Agreed. Today's market analysis. Yeah. Oof. It got, it got stuck. I thought we got some decent, I thought, at or better from inflationary data, which it was. We got what we expected. That was at, it wasn't better. We didn't get better than expected data. We got what we expected. And what we expected was favorable. This is the Fed's favorite measure. And the market initially liked it. And then ultimately we are now in more of a, a bearish engulfing position. So now it's like, do we like it? I don't think we'd know. Yet, I don't think it's enough. I am, I mean, I'm going to take some profits on some trades, right? Like maybe the, the Google trade is done for me. Um, but uh, yeah, the the volume is is not there. There's no, there's no selling pressure. So there's not that concern. The VIX has looked pretty good. We'll see where it's finishing today. I don't know. That's why today's market Analysis is going to be important. That's why revisiting the posture will be important. That might make the reason I do it. People are like, why do you, why do you look at it Friday afternoon? If you're just going to do it for real on Sunday, because on Friday afternoon, I have to make some decisions. So if I'm a 5.5 and then I look through and, and I'm like, Hey, I'm going to probably end up a six. I feel like this thing's continuing to get better. That might give me what I need to stay in a trade and be like, yeah, let's just, let's ride. Let's see how it does. Versus if I'm like, Oh man, my 5.5 five is going to become a 5.0 or 4.75. There's some, what would that mean? That would mean that there's weakness coming into some level or multiple aspects of our underlying analysis. Okay. With that being the case, that might then influence me or inform me to make a more defensive decision going into the weekend. Now, maybe I sell half, tighten my stop. Now maybe I take profit on the entire trade and then just move forward into the weekend and into next week sitting in cash. All right. Do I hedge? If I'm going to carry three, four, five bullish trades, do I think about a hedge? The VIX right now is in a, a magnificent place <laughs> to be thinking about it. Steven says, I'm, I'm waiting on my exit signal before I get up Apple. Yeah, it's profitable. It's, it's pausing. It's pausing. Pausing's not reversing. Pausing's pausing. What are we looking for next week? What's on the opportunity list? Wrapping up section two on our trading plan or for some of you. Um, did anybody work? I know there's only a few of us here. Did anybody work on their trading plan but not work on section two? Are you, is anyone in a prioritization Sandy said, yes, Sandy's in prioritization. Steven's in prioritization. Okay. What sections are you guys working on now? Risk management, section four. 
Oh, risk management section four. Well, isn't that convenient? And just like that, maybe you guys decide to have an offline conversation about it. Bounce some ideas. It's a it's a interesting thing. So I'll tell you this. I have exciting news. Um, but I, I met today with all of our coaches. So you guys have met. Um, um, all of you have met Glenn and Gary already. Um, and then we have some other coaches who do some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, but, uh, um, Greg, you're still on the, the standard plan. You know, what's funny. So am I, I'm actually just going through it every week. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to put a little time in. I don't have any prioritization right now that I'm like, oh, I really need to prioritize this. Not like I'm saying everything's so good. I'm saying nothing is stand. I'm always trying to work on it. Obviously nothing's standing out. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to look at it and see like, hey, is there anything that inspires me to, to change, improve? Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but here's the exciting news. So, so these coaches are working one-on-one -on -one with people all the time. Steven started working with Brian. Um, well, these guys are, are, you know, working with people for extended periods of time. And now they're looking to say, hey, you know what? We'd like to invite them here as they as they finish their coaching. So some people come in and then they go start coaching. Some of them are, are looking for what can they do next? So they're going to come with a really strong perspective. They should have established trading plans. They should be trading live already. Um, and so, you know, uh, 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 I, I get for those of you who are, are you know, here and, and are veterans of the group, it's, it's, you'd like to have some support where it's like, Hey, wouldn't it be great if we had 20, 30, 40, 50 of these, you know, people who have a, a stronger sense and a stronger foundation where they're helping each other, helping you. And you're all helping to provide that support for new. I think we're going to see when the numbers expand a, 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 a real bump in what we get out of discord and that's why it's so important that we get it organized and structured right now so anyway let's jump into it let's get into it what do we know we we initially reacted well we opened higher we moved higher and then we're like oh teeter-totter wobble fall down now the s p's down a quarter of a percent only but it is down the dow's down 0.35 nasdaq 0.32 the Russell actually stayed positive, interestingly. And the only way the uh, Russell is going to have positive momentum moving forward from here is if they start to get some type of favorable expectations from the Fed, right? We know they're reliant on that. Stocks, now the these, maybe I need to refresh this because stocks rise is key inflation gauge. That's, that's not what's happening. They, they rose and now they're pulling back. Uh, what do we know? Inflation offers hope for Fed rate cuts. So here's how it stands now. About 40% of, of Fed voters still are at two cuts this year. 50% are at only one. 10% are at none. So the mean is one. Right. Um, the average is a little higher. I think, I think that it's one. I think we're looking for one cut in November. It's, it, you know, maybe if in July we got a real strong reading that said, Hey, the fed can start to lower it sooner. But I got to tell you, I think the fed feels the pressure from the political environment where you know everyone's like oh the fed's gonna cut it in september to help and blah 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 um did i see the debate someone asked earlier on what were my thoughts my thoughts were that i believe 
and I, I hope I don't offend anybody. Like I, 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 I really hope that neither of those guys are your guys. I believe it's an absolute shit show. That's what I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I believe. I mean, yeah, that's it's like absolutely. I know we all bitch and moan about politics, and they're like, oh, politics. I think I think that we're just in such an enormously terrible place, right? Like somehow. Somehow the, the emperor and the potential new emperor and the old emperor all, none of them have any clothes. Nobody seems to care. Everybody says they do and the other one doesn't. And it's just like, we can't get anything done. Least effective Congress in the history of the country. Like, what are we looking with? I don't know, Sandy, how's it look there? I'm, I'm, I'm considering expatriation. <laughs> Anyways, I hope I didn't offend anybody. I love the country. I hate the politics. Um, and I think we've lost our way politically. Um, it's a really sad thing, man. That debate. You'll notice there really wasn't much mention of actual policy, right? A lot of, a lot of accusations, a lot of insults, a lot of like, you know, you didn't do this. And I mean, it's just, but you know, what's the policy? Is there policy? Can we have policy? <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to do about it. I'm open to suggestions. Um, all right, let's talk about our, let's talk about the market. Here's the good news. How about this? Here's the good news. Um, am I, I, I don't feel like I'm getting message. Are you guys hearing me still? Um, the good news is this. The market doesn't care. That's the good news. Everyone thinks that it's like, you'll always be like, oh, um, the market's reacting to this or it's expecting this or the market's going to be bad if this happens. Um, the market doesn't care. The market only cares about uncertainty versus uncertainty, right? Uncertainty versus uncertainty. So if this thing gets to the courts, goes to the law, goes to the courts, if there's like, you know, you know, you know reactions like we have like January 6th, Market crashed on January 6th, then recovered as it's like, but as that started happening, the market, I got stopped out of some trades. It was, it was really stupid. Like I was pissed. I'm like, seriously, stopped out of a couple of trades on like a crazy move down. And then it recovered. And it's just like, um, when, when the, when the Bush and Gore went to Florida and, and the courts, the market reacted terribly when that happened, but otherwise the market just. It's like, hey, as long as we have a president and things move for a, a peaceful transfer of power, that's what the market wants. That's it. Um, right. So when when Trump got elected, all the Democrats are like, it's going to be so terrible. The market was great. It was fine. And when Trump got elected, all the problems like, oh, we're going to have the market's going to crash now. Market's been great. We're just fine. <laughs> uh, that's it. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, politics are abysmal there. Yeah. Okay. Next week, what do we have? It's the first week of the month next week. So we have employment data, job openings on Tuesday, jobless, uh, ADP, uh, new jobs on, on Wednesday. And you'll, you'll see they're expecting more expecting 170 when we had 150. Um, uh, nothing on for on Thursday. We'll, we'll, uh, maybe actually we'll be fine. We'll still, no, we'll probably not. We'll, we'll probably move foundations. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll think about that. Um, ADP. And then on Friday, we have non-farm payrolls. No, we don't. Where's non-farm payrolls? Did they push that to next Friday? Oh, no, it's right there. They keep changing what they call it. U.S. employment. Non-farm payrolls. Uh, that's expected to drop from 272 to 195. Um, but remember that 272 was a big surprise. We were only expecting around 195 last time. Uh, how many holidays do you guys have? 10 or 11 federal holidays, something like that. It's, it's the 4th of July, Santi. It is independence day. This is the American holiday where we celebrate the debate. No, we don't. We can't. Right? Uh, chips still look pretty good for me. 
oh, look at Amazon. You can see a lot of these are engulfing or why my charts are going so crazy. I don't know. Amazon is coming down. It's coming down, right? Um, yeah. So. AVGO. I, I actually still am here. I, I'd like to stop for a second and, and talk about this one. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think? Is this an opportunity? The sellers came in. They, 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 they came pretty hard the first couple of days, right? And then all of a sudden, it just died right here on a vine. Boom. Support. 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 Well above the 50. It's hard because we're like, that was a pretty big pullback. But it's only a 50% retracement. I, I got to tell you, I'm still kind of looking at this one where it's like, if if it starts to turn, market starts to turn on Monday, I was looking at it today. I was like, I think I might take this today. And then today happened, obviously, right? This morning, it looked like, hey, this looks great. And then it pulled back and now it's like, maybe not quite yet. Uh, this actually, for me, right around that level that's that's the that's the level where i would want to see this thing pop in right see this thing pop in and get me into the trade um i actually played with the trade i didn't put an alert out but i um i was playing with this one last night in the group and i built the trade i think i placed it so it filled i had put an order around 1635 just as like a an example trade um, and it actually picked up i'm gonna see how it goes i actually still feel like it's valid and still looks good um, any comments? The, I, I, I think I turned the conversation when it went political. I apologize for that. I, my, my, my apologies that I allowed that to happen. Um, let's, let's definitely reorient. Not, not for you, Steve, not an entry. I agree. It's not an entry. I don't think we're going to have any entries today based on these market conditions. When you see an, uh, uh when you see. And S&P, oh, look at that, though. All of a sudden, all of a sudden here at the end, buyers are coming back in. When you see a market that is kind of like stalled out like this, that's typically not. I mean, if you already got in yesterday or the day before, then you're in and you're probably riding because you're like, yeah, it's fine. Still, It didn't, it didn't break support. This is fine. But are you looking to actively enter on a Friday as the market is showing signs of a pause? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that's that's a lot harder to uh, uh, make a, a justification for. But is it a setup? Is What are we looking for going into next week? AXP. Ah, we're starting to see a little bit of this. Did we, did we break out, come back? Is this thing ready to come back? I'm looking at AXP. I'm looking at BAC. I'm looking at EQH. I'm looking at MS. I want to have, <clears throat> don't let, when a sector starts to, when a sector starts to like ease up, like we know financials did, we can see that it did. They all kind of turned into this. That's, it's just a small consolidation, right? It's, it's a correction even. We're down about 25 points, which is about 10%. So did the entire sector go into a correction and now look like it's poised to potentially rebound and, and move back into a leadership position? If this market's going to get bullish again, what do we expect? We already have financials. We already have, no, no. We already have technology. We already have uh, communication services. And to some extent, we have uh, consumer Right? To some extent, we have consumer. What's next? When we think about our big four, the next one is financials. The fifth one would be industrials. That's, that's kind of how we would expect it to line up. Great. I think, I think we're still in that same scenario. Let me know your thoughts. Boeing, <laughs> I didn't take it. 
we talked about this one. I didn't take it. It worked. It pulled back. I didn't take it. It's, it's okay. It's working okay. BAC. Ooh, I don't know. Steven, you were in this one. I was in this one. I said I'm still going to watch this one, but it really feels a lot more sideways. Came down, hit the 50, starting to bounce. Now we have a doji. Is that confirmation? This is your last chance for financials. You're, you're about two weeks away from earnings windows. Um, City Group, look at City, starting to move. Caterpillar, hey. Uh, we never got the higher high, but it did get a higher low. So if I see this thing pop up, come back, that's, that, that's what will have me thinking Caterpillar's coming back into favor and subsequently Industrial's coming back into favor. <laughs> the uh, you you guys are gonna be the only ones. Uh, I'm go I'm going back, and I'm gonna edit out our our political talk. <laughs> I'm not letting I'm not gonna let anyone else hear my moment of weakness where I allowed politics to come into my trading. Um, so, thank you those of you in attendance for allowing me to vent. Um, but I am going to edit it out. It's not going to be anywhere on record. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Welcome, Dan. Good to see you. CL. Uh, okay. At this point, I think we would all agree. It's tough. It's tough to be. I mean, you're probably locking in gains right now. Or you've already locked in gains. Uh, and now we're seeing uh, Colgate Palmolive consolidate. Um, and uh, I'm going to add this to another one. Where it's like, what? what's next? Financials. I think financials are, are there's not a, like a great, like classic higher, high, higher, low setup. It's like, a, hey, I feel like we're getting bullish enough that we will see that fourth sector come in, which is, which is financial. So I'm just going to be poised for it. Um, but this looks great seeing this thing pull back and, and set up like that chipotle the options have have adjusted now they look fantastic i think chipotle is in a setup still a little bit of volatility but that's pre pre split volatility so i can accept that i still have that that's another consumer stock oil nothing there for me costco um so costco uh, i'm gonna stay in I took this one as part of when I put the alert. It, it turned, gave what I'm looking for. It's pausing. It's not right. But it's also not wrong. These, these two red days on this diminishing volume, that doesn't scare me and make me think, oh, the sellers. It makes me think maybe I'm a little early. Look back here. You can see it gave a signal and it paused. And then it tried and then it paused for three days and then bam, 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 bam. Right? I, I don't want to have where in this little three, four day window where it kind of gives a little bit of a false start. I get out only to watch it give the bam, bam, bam. I'm going to give this an opportunity. Anybody else in something like this? I'm going to hold this one. Diamonds? No. Uh, EQH? Maybe. I like EQH. It's, it's really held up for a financial. Um, looks strong. Yeah. Press is here too. Hey, Press. Good to see you. Uh, FCX. I'm not, I'm not seeing much in materials right now. Just like I'm not seeing much in Bitcoin right now. I was thinking about GE. I'm still thinking about it. If it holds the 50 and turns... It's a higher low. It, 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 in, in actuality, I would, I would actually say that we broke up, broke the consolidation. Now we pulled back. This is the higher low at the 50. If this turns, check. Check. Gold. Eh. Google. I closed mine. Press closed his earlier. Anybody hanging on? I'm not seeing it personally. Um, looked great. Always looks great until it doesn't. And then it's time to close. 
Good trade. Made some money. Now what? I want another bite at the apple next week on this one. Yeah? Sandy did? Nice. Okay. I love it. Love it. Dan and Press, you missed. I had an epic. I had an epic meltdown. S Steven asked me about the debate, and I melted down. <laughs> I'm never talking politics again. I <laughs> Hymns. This has been a point of discussion. Um, and it should still be a point of discussion, in my opinion. It's a strong stock. It's it's had this stock doubled in a month. Should we still think about it? Yes, it's still holding above the 50. I, I'm still thinking about it. Absolutely. Is it a setup? And is it something I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about it today. No, not today. Not today. But overall, yes. Overall, yes. I did, Sandy, the ape, the chimp smashed right through my cage and just like battered the keyboard. Slapped me around a little bit. The chimp was slapping me. Hey, how do you like that, Scott? I don't like it at all, chimp. I don't like it. Stop it. <laughs> That's an excellent assessment, Sandy. Just spot on. <laughs> so bad. Oh, if only it were better. It's good to, Sandy, it's good to know that misery loves company. I'm glad to know that it's, it's in shambles over there too, you know? <laughs> uh, IWM I'm gonna I'm curious Steven did you I didn't see did you run it how are you feeling about sectors and major market going into the weekend I'm curious KBH eh, pretty iffy coke coke is done I'm waiting for the next bite um, it, it looks like it's triangle uh, uh, given a triangle pattern so I would love to trade the next higher low meta um same kind of pulling back right you gotta you gotta adjust adapt or die be water my friends mmm nothing there morgan is one that i like for financials and i think could it could be giving a trade signal with time to spare going into next week if i get a if i get a, a bullish heiken ashi candle i'm going to think to myself that this is going to be this at least until earnings that's what i think that's what i'm looking for who's with me <laughs> who's with me microsoft let's see what's going on with microsoft hmm. oh my gosh can i can i can I tell you a story? And I don't want to tell you this story to pressure anybody or anything. I don't, I don't want to tell you a story like this, but I had a person reach out to me that I had worked with in a, in a, in a coaching slash webinar capacity. And they said, hey, Scott, I'd like, to, I'd like to send you something, a token for the help you've given me over the years in trading. I'm like, oh, that's happened before, right? They send me like a Hickory Farms gift box. I eat some cheese and crackers. Who doesn't like cheese and crackers? So I'm like... You don't have to do that, of course, but it's very generous of you to offer. Here's my address. So the guy on Wednesday, I'm going to keep going through symbols. This story is insane to me. Um, he, he, he says, hey, are you going to be home at 730? I'm like, well, that's a weirdly specific question, but yes. He says, okay. And then I get a text, like a little bit, like a, a guy, I get a text that says, hey, uh, I'm going to be at your house in 20 minutes. And it was like a number I didn't know. And I was like, like, then I'm all of a sudden like, hey, wait, is this guy trying to kill me? <laughs> like, is he sending an assassin to my house? Because like, I was about to respond and be like, what company? I like Micron. Who's with me on Micron? Any of these that pull back and hit the 50-day moving average and hold up? I, I got to say, I, I'm, I'm content. They, they moved quickly up and then they've consolidated. Now, this one's more of like a... 62% to 78% retracement, but I still, the fact that it held, I'm thinking about it. I'm definitely, definitely thinking about it. Uh, Netflix, Netflix is fine. I, I want you guys to recognize that two weeks is financials earnings and financial earnings kicks off earnings earnings. 
So we have, an, uh, uh, we have our earnings window considerations coming soon. You just have to be a little more careful. We have to talk about it a little bit more. I love NVIDIA. I think NVIDIA definitely looks like an opportunity. A false start doesn't mean a failed trade. It, it, it came down, turned, stall. It could even come a little bit down as long as it doesn't take this out. And then if it turns, that second, boy, I'll tell you, a lot of people get shook out of trades on that. If you get shook out, be ready to reenter. If you're in, possibly put yourself in a position to be able to stay in for that. Okay, so anyways, so anyways, back to my story. I'm going to keep going through some symbols here. Um, when I used to do these webinars, you guys know I use Yahoo Finance, right? Uh, where is it? And that's not it. Where's Yahoo Finance? And when you're here, Yahoo Finance will show ads across the top. And those ads will betray what you look for. So like at, at Christmas time, I was shopping for like silver bars for my kids as like a little Christmas present. Well, one of the times I was on, I was looking at a electric bike because I'm like, oh, that sounds like fun. Where does this story lead? No kidding. He sent an electric bike. A guy shows up with a pickup truck with this bike strapped to the back. He's like, yeah, this is for you. An electric bike. I'm going to take a picture and I'll show you guys. It is like the, it is like an insanely nice. Um. <laughs> I said, I said, how did you just send that to me? He must, he must have done well. I'm <laughs> just saying. It is cool, right? So, like, am I saying to you guys, like, that you should send me gifts? No. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah, it made my day, to be honest with you. Palantir. I like Palantir. I'm in Palantir. And I'm holding Palantir. In it, holding it. QQQ, a pause, RTX. Nothing there. SPY. SPY is holding up. I don't, I don't, I'm not convinced yet. I think we may still bounce from here, to be perfectly honest. TSM looks fine. TSM looks like something you, you could still enter. I don't love the dollar holding in this advanced level. I do love the VIX, but the VIX is poised for a hedge. Body low to body low. This is a higher low. If it confirms, I will hedge next week. So as bullish as I am, you know, I always have in the back of my mind, is there something that says I need to protect? Walmart. Iffy. Uh, I don't think we need to go through the sectors. What do you think? You'll send me my electricity bill. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a gift, Sandy. Um, are you holding trades? I, I, here's what I would say. I've closed some, I've closed more than some, but I am still holding a couple. So if you're holding a few, I don't want you to be like, oh, I don't know if I should hold. Yeah, if you're holding something that's still showing momentum, that makes sense. But we are seeing signs that say this market looks like it's hitting some resistance, it's pausing, some trades that look like they're giving. Um, uh, that are giving us indications of consolidation great i i want to have a list of stocks ready for new trades a lot of those are going to be stocks that i just closed out of i want to trade google again i want to trade microsoft again i want to trade right a lot of these i want to trade again um thoughts questions concerns and and not about politics that was, that was my one moment of weakness. Still in Apple. Of course, that makes sense. Google, no. Apple, Apple still shows signs that say it's, it's not right, but not wrong. Yes. Not right, but not wrong is, is where you say, let's, let's stay in this thing. Um, uh, I a hundred percent agree with that press, um, that we can still stay in. Um, you want to be close, right? You don't want to be close with it, man. It, it did finish. It did finish with some selling at the end, didn't it? Oh God, it really did right at the last 10 minutes. I was like, that looks worse than it looked when we looked through it. 
Um, it got a little worse at the end, but that's just sometimes the, the, the end of the market panic. A lot of times you'll see it get it back even in the after hours. Um, but yeah, let's, let's be aware. Things turned just a little nastier right at the end for some things, right? Uh, especially here in tech, that last 10 minutes, end of, end of the month trading. Ford is finally trending up. Uh, yeah, that last 10 really kind of took a funny place, didn't it? Let's go take a look at Ford. We had Ford on our list a while back, Dan. Oh, you're exactly right. I wouldn't say trending up yet. What I would say is it's done what it needed to do to entice us, right? It's in this consolidation. It did kind of in this bottom, but what happened? Bam, we busted, we had volume. That is definitely step one right there, step one. And it's in the process of making step two. Step two is all but a guarantee, which is what? Step two is the higher high. We're, we're gonna take out the prior high because we're already taking out the prior high. Oh, it's not a loser, Sandy. It's not a loser. It's on a comeback now. This is exactly the kind of thing that I actually really look for, but not yet. What needs to happen? I need this. That is where I would trade this. So it moves up, it gets into this higher high, and then it pulls back down, and it stays above this 50 day, and it starts to turn, and that's point number three. So this stays up here, it comes back down, and this turns, and all of a sudden, what do we have? We have the lineup. The higher low lineup. We will watch. That's all we can do, right? I'm, uh, here's the deal. Until point number three happens, I am a spectator. Period. That's, that's the case. That's the case with a lot of these. And Steven says, I need the, vol the volatility. Well, there you go. Hopefully they can, Hopefully it can bust up and get closer to the 40 because you'll get a lot more premium there than you will down there. I'm a little over. I got to get running, you guys. It's good to see everybody. Um, again, for the few of you who are there for my political breakdown, I, I might have said I might have said offended, offensive things. And if I did, I, I do sincerely apologize. Um, but as, as I said, uh, you know, if I offended, I hope I offended both sides because... I'm not coming from one side or the other. I'm coming from just a place of pure frustration. <laughs> okay, uh, Sunday, regular time, 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll, we'll posture this market. We'll see. I think there's plenty of setups. We said the same thing last week, and we got trades this week. We got trades this week. They were good trades. We made money, and now we're going to try to do the same thing. Have a great rest of your day. As always, happy trading.